All right, so we got our cams in, all the new chains and guides are in, and we're ready to now actually time the camshafts. Now, everybody was freaking out when they saw this thing because it looks pretty intricate, so naturally you would expect it to be really, really difficult to time. It's actually incredibly easy, so I'm going to take you through the steps. So everybody seems to think that you set this engine at TDC and then you put a lockout pin in the crankshaft, but that is absolutely not the case. Because every single engine I assemble, before bolting down the cylinder heads, we'll use a dial indicator to TDC cylinder number one. So I had initially done that, thinking that then I'd go put the pin in the crankshaft, but that's not where the actual pin location in the crank is. They've got this engine set up so that the pistons are all down in the bore. If you accidentally rotate the camshafts around, the valve train's not going to hit the pistons. So it is not at TDC, but you take this little plug out at the side of the engine, and then you got a lock pin that you put in. Now if you look closely, you'll see a little drill hole in the crankshaft. That pin gets screwed into the hole, and it'll feed right into that, that pin hole right in the crankshaft, and that'll hold it in position. So for the crankshaft now set in its timing position, first thing to set up here is a small balance shaft in the center of the engine, and there's a small pin that you put into that that locks it in place in the block, and that's to remove harmonic frequencies from the crank. The primary cam drive chain is not timed. Those just go on. You don't have to worry about it. Then up top, two cam lockout plates are bolted down. And that holds the cams in their timing position because these are 360 degree gears. They have no keyways, they have no timing marks on them. You can spin them however you want. So the cams get locked down, cranks get locked down, and then we just tighten everything. You know, and that's it. These are torqued it down and timing set. Like it's really, that that's all that's involved. Now we take off our uh, cam plates, we pull our crank plug out, and then we spin it around. Seriously, if every engine was this easy to time, my job would be a lot easier.